Good. So, let's get your suit on. One at a time, one foot, one foot at a time. Some people find it easier to sit down. Um, you just pull it on and get your, your foot in. Don't worry about the boot size of these suits because uh, what we'll do is we have all of the sizes in test here. So when we go through ordering your suit, you'll try each boot size on to get the right size for you. I think any activity when you come out of the water and you have to wipe the snot off your face is destined to be a... Uh, yeah. Okay, so the first thing is just uh, putting the suit up. It will be all cotton. <laughs> Chunky. <laughs> How's it feeling? <laughs> okay. Different to a new neoprene. Once you put your suits on, slide your arms in. Oh, I like these. I like the braces. And the important thing to do when you're getting the suit on is to breathe. Yeah, you can feel your heart going. We've got to show <laughs> we can breathe. Now what we're going to do is, uh, the first thing to do is make sure, before we try and put the top half of the suit on, that the bottom half of the suit is fitted properly. So make sure that you've pulled it up so it's up into your crunch, which it looks like it is. Yep. That's great. Next thing, arm in this side. Once you get to that point, take your thumb loop out. And then just... That's it. And then just slide it through. When we, uh, we've got latex uh, seals on this, but when we order your suit, if you wanted uh, silicon uh, reseals, for example. Make it easy to get. Yeah. Boswell going on. Yeah. 
because anybody who puts a dry suit on for the first time and puts a latex next seal on, when you're then trying to convince them that the thing that's strangling them is going to is going to cost them a lot of money, it's not a good it's not a good sales position to be. So we just put these. We don't recommend them for diving. Right. <laughs> but we put these, these loops. Yeah. In, just to relieve you a little bit, so you can come down. Balaclava. Yeah, like a balaclava, yeah. which is very useful for you. So you can have it and you <laughs> slide in much easier. Um, okay, so there's a couple of things that we do um, when we're, so maybe I can hold that for you. Yep. The first thing I want you to do is put both of your arms like this. Perfect. Now what we're looking for here is if you just turn around, it should be tight at the back, but it shouldn't be overly stretched. Because if it's overly stretched, remember this is a position you should be in, this is the most this area is going to be stretched with both arms in that position. But if it's too much and you can't do it and it's restricting you from actually getting your arms together, then that's a problem. But in this case, that's perfectly fine. Now I would like you to again do that shutdown position. And we're looking to make sure that this area here is not overly tight again. Because if it is, it's going to stop you from uh, stop you from moving. Okay, good. This video is sponsored by Narked at Ninety. They are beyond technical. Right now, there's an offer on if you go to narkedat90.com and use the Big Scuba code Big Scuba Twenty Twenty Four. Next thing I want you to do, maybe if you turn this way. I want you to go down into a lunge position with your front leg at 90 degrees. Okay. Classic, if I come around this side. So again, what we're looking for here is that the front of this suit, the creases are taken out of it, but it's not too tight. So this is absolutely perfect. The, the knee pad should be over the knee, um, and this area should be flat at the front. So there's no need to adjust that suit at all. And when I look, feel underneath, we're looking to get a good handful of material underneath the thigh in this position. If you don't have any material to hold under there, mm. then the suit is going to be restrictive and too tight. But to be perfectly honest, you can tell when somebody gets into this position whether the suit is too tight or not because struggle you to struggle get to get down into that position in the first so place. You, you, that material at the back. Also. Yeah, you can see it. Maybe you can see it here where my hand is, I'm just holding a bunch of material at the back. If I can't get that, if it's like this, trying to, then it's way too tight. Yeah. Otherwise, that could be in the wrong position. Well, the, the thigh measurement would be wrong and need to be adjusted. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Stand up. Perfect. That is actually a well-fitting suit. And in some cases, you know, if we're adjusting from a chart, it may be that we think, okay, we need to make more adjustments. But mm -hmm. once you get somebody in a suit and you see it, you can feel yeah, it for yourself. And the arms. Well, the one thing is with the arms, if you put your arms right forward, these arms are actually not too bad. It's mm -hmm. better than I thought it was going to be. That's actually... I mean, you could argue that it should be maybe one or two centimeters. You could adjust the arms, but I, I wouldn't necessarily say that you have to in that position. Good. How's it feel? Yeah, it feels lovely, actually. Super. First time in, you know, this type of material. Can you run? Yeah. I like it. 
I like it. That's perfect. Good. Great. We can leave you in yours. Yeah. While we get him into his. Okay, I think it'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.